Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we have the second round of the inter server fights, guys. And well, for the first one, we are trying to actually cleave. And yeah, you know, we are going for the defense rates or our savanna. We hope her to have higher attack than the enemy's defense, since we have the attack lead of Champong. So we are going to reset. Sorry, we're going to strip and push with our Tiana, then we're hoping to push back with our Savannah. Of course, we won't be able to do any pushbacks on, on the light Valkyria, but yeah, of course, you can't do anything to Akroma. So, yeah, and it will be tough to deal with the, with the wind leech, sorry, with the light leech, so yeah. That will be tough as well, but we have the strips from Chompong, we have the third skill of Tiana, and of course we have the second skill of our Beast Rider as well. So yeah, we got rid of the main two threats, and now we have to get rid of the Acroma, and then we're going to be left 4 on 1 against that, that Light Leech, and I really, really hope we can kill him. And for this one, we're trying to outspeed and, you know, we will lower the HP of one unit. I think it will be the, the Rauk here and, or maybe not, I don't know, guys. Maybe we can lower the HP of, of Vanessa and with Gabro and then we will use the third skill of Alicia and, you know, we will hope to take another turn. However, guys, they were faster than me, my Draco was not fast enough, and of course, he got a double stun. So, let's see, let's see how Alicia can do. And yeah, she did quite well, he, she got a freeze, so we got rid of two units, but we couldn't get rid of the Vanessa, so she revived, and guys, we lost. So I should have given my Bernard Bruns to my Draco and then I will have a spell. But yeah, what's the point on thinking of past? We lost and that's okay. Now for this one we're going to cleave and things should be quite simple against this defense if we actually do outspeed. And we did, so now our Shimite goes and our Lucian should get rid of at least three of those units. And here, guys, we're going to gamble. We think that maybe that Juno is faster than my than my Tiana, but but the odds of Juno actually stunning my Tiana are really low, guys. So yeah, first Juno doesn't have to derp; she has to use the street. Well, I was faster, but Juno doesn't have to derp. Then she has to land the street, and then she has to proc this pair. So yeah. You know, the odds are on our favor, so we decided to risk it. And right now, I could go for either the AoE crit attack or that one, and I don't think I chose the right one, guys. I should have gone for the AoE crit, and yeah, you know. Now, RNG will decide that I should not win this. But it was completely my fault, because I should have gone for the second skill with my Tiana. Of course, failing the pushbacks with Ganymede was really bad as well. But when you're going for RNG on your offenses, that's what you get, guys. That's what you get. So, for this one, we are going with another cliff, And we're going with Charlotte here, so we can have push forth and push back on the enemies at the same time. So... 
you know, we can make sure that we will be taking two turns before the enemies take one. And that's the plan, guys. That's the plan. And especially since there are angels and one of them at least should be on this per uh, sorry on Nemesis rooms. So yeah, this went quite well, guys. This was fairly simple, and that's because Galleon did his job quite well. For this one, we're going with the exact same team. So you know, guys, you know the drill. And here we will not get caught by Abilio because we have so many push. And for this one guys, I decided to go with units that don't have wheel runes so that the first kill of that thing doesn't push his own team. So even if he does the AoE damage based on his HP, then I should be able to actually move after unless that savanna is faster than my Triton, which can actually happen. And it did guys, <laughs> and it did. So, yeah, guys, we are defense broken and we were lucky that Demon didn't do the AoE attack either. And that was so good for us because it gave us a chance. So now we can actually win this one and we will. And for this one, guys, we're going to cleave. As you know, simple. We are going to use the second skill of our Shimite, and then we're going to pray our Lucian deals a ton of damage on the rest of the team. And this time around, we're going to go with our Lucian and Alicia. Our Lucian should move before Alicia, and then she should be able to use her third skill to kill something and then use her second skill so that she can wipe the rest of the enemy team. That's what I thought would happen and luckily it did, guys. And right here we're going for the same, however this time instead of Lucian we are going for Shimite because we want to make sure that we outspeed. And after that really close match, we are going for this comp. We're using the Wind Ninja in order to get the 30% speed lead so that our Bernard can actually outspeed the enemy since our Bernard has very fast runes. And I'm going for a very strong Lucian here. So the, the thing is to actually dismount the Beast Rider with our Ninja and then our Lucian should be able to deal a ton of damage on the rest of the team and we are praying for Samath not to do crazy stuff when he gets back. So yeah, we were lucky enough to actually kill everything guys, that was amazing. For this one we are going again with a Tiana team, we are going to use our Galleon and Savannah this time around to land the pushbacks and of course we had the attack lead of Champong so we will be dealing a ton of damage as well.
end in this one. We're going with Lure, so we can patch up the defense rate from Galon if it needed. But, but our Lure is on triple attack, so he will deal tons of damage as well, especially if Galleon lands the defense rates. As you can see, guys, we dealt very good damage here, so we can go for the AoE attack. We learned a lesson, we won't gamble the third skill here. So, yeah, we were able to destroy them, guys. And one more time, we're going for the same team. And we are doing these for the third time in a row. And we are running the same team again, but this time around we are gambling it, guys. Because, you know, that thing could have gone for the strip. And she could have landed slow and maybe cut my team. And another unit could have moved. And things would have been very bad if that unit would have been nested. So, yeah, all in all, we got lucky that she dared. But the odds of actually stunning my, my Tiana were kind of slow, kind of low. So we gambled it, guys, and we went well. And for this one, we are going for the usual clip. And we won that last one only because the freeze on that on that Juno. So we got really lucky. Now for this one, they are using Leo. So we are going with a Nemesis unit here. We are luring Leo's attack on our Megan. She will get the turn and we are running our, our frigate here. So that in case the enemies are on, on Nemesis runes, they will not cut me because I have a very big push from, from my frigate here. So... That's pretty much it guys, and of course we have both attack and defense buffs on Kagi, so he will be dealing tons of damage as well. And that was quite nice. So yeah, we got the proc, so we can get rid of most of the enemy team, actually of the full enemy team. And right here we're going with Charlotte, because we want to deal a little bit of damage and get another push. And you know, with Charlotte here giving the push to Lucian, I think that the Abilio wouldn't be able to cut me even if we were to get a unit down below 40%. So that's what I thought and that's what happened guys. And well, we didn't get a unit below 40% so we weren't cut. And now we have to get rid of them one by one and leave the Halfas for last and pray to land a, a heal block on Halfas as soon as possible. In this one we're going to Cleave and we're going with Chompong and we're going with a very strong Lucian as well. So we can actually, that's not my regular Lucian, but that Lucian can't get cut if they aren't on Nemesis rooms. So we will abuse the attack lead of Chompong to deal a ton of damage with the Lucian and of course Chompong will deal some damage as well. So we can actually kill three units here, actually two and dismount the Beast Rider. So now we can get rid of the Beast Rider and the Juno quite easily.
And guys, for these final matches, I will start using my boring team. Because, you know, there are some defenses that you can't cleave or you can't cleave without taking huge risks. So in this one, we are going to get rid of the threat first, which will be the Carnal, and then we get rid of the Stripper. Usually I like to get rid of the Stripper first, but this time around we were able to get rid of the Carnal first, and it didn't kind of matter a lot, guys. So yeah, things went quite well with this one, and I will have to repeat this comp a lot in the next fight. This one we're going to click, guys, you know the drill, they have Molly, so I go for Lure, and of course I have my my Tiana, my my Alicia and Tiana, that will not be able to glance either, so yeah, we don't care about Molly's passive. And against this comp we have to go for the boring team again and we have to get rid of Iris first. And one more time, the same comp, but this time around we have to get rid of the stripper first, which is, I think, the, the most logical choice of killing order, guys. And for the final match, we're going for the same team and we're going to get rid of the Light Panda first.
So this is it guys, thank you very much for watching this, I will show you the runes on my defense, as you can see I won 5 defenses this time around, it did quite better than the previous round. So yeah, we won 23 out of 25 matches, which is very good as well. And yeah, I won one by RNG and I lost one by RNG, so I think that 23 out of 25 was fair. So guys, thank you very much for watching this, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, please give a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and remember, if you have any questions about the game, let me know in the comment section, and I will be very happy to reply, as always, I hope to see you in the next one, bye bye.